Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to change the background color of a web page when a button is clicked using JavaScript. So sit back, relax and let's dive in into this tutorial on changing background color on click with JavaScript. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more web development tutorials. We begin by creating a button element with the id btn. That's all the HTML code we are going to need. Now we move on to the CSS code. In CSS, we set the padding and margin of all HTML elements to zero. This is a commonly used technique to reset any default styling applied by the browser. Next, we target the body element. This code sets the height of the body to 100 VH, which means that it will fill the entire height of the viewport. The display grid property makes the body element a con grid container and place item centers the child elements both horizontally and vertically. Next, we target the button element and set its font family to Poppins, which is a popular sans serif font. We also set the font size to 1.4 EM. Next, we set the padding to 1 EM on top and bottom and 2 EM for right and left. In the next step, we add a border radius of 2 EM for nicely rounded corners. We also add a border of 5 px white to the button. Now, to make the border and the button stand out, we add a temporary background color to the body. We will be removing this later. Now, we add a we add a background color and a color to the button. The background color is set to transparent while the color is set to white. Now coming to the letter spacing, you can easily skip the letter spacing part as it is only for the aesthetics. Next, we set the cursor to pointer. and outline to none which removes the default focus outline from the button. Let's go back to the HTML code. Now make sure that you have this line of code in your HTML code which links the external script file to the HTML code. Moving on to the JavaScript code. In the first line of code we select the HTML element with the id of button using document.getElementById method and assign it to the variable called btn. Next, we define a function called random num using the arrow expression. This function generates a random integer between 0 to 255 using mat.floor method and mat.random method. Next, we define a function called change color using the arrow function expression. We also add event listener to the button. This event listener listens particularly to the click event and calls the change color function on click. Next, we also add an event listener to the window element. We console log function is called just to see if the function is being called on click. Now, as we can see in the console log, every time we click on the click me function, click me button, the function gets called. We add a event listener to the document window which calls a change color function every time the window loads. As you can see, the function is called even before the button is clicked. And the function gets called every time we click on the click me button. We can now remove the console log. The change color function generates a new random color by calling the random num function three times 
and interpolating the results into an RGB color string. The document dot body dot style dot background color property is then used to set the background color of the document's body to this new random color. Now you can try clicking on the click me button to change the background color and it works perfectly. Let's try clicking on it for a few more times and that's it for today's tutorial we have successfully created a background color changer button if you have any queries suggestions or feedback comment them below happy coding